How's it going, y'all? Rowdy Rouse, back with another video. Um, I have to refilm this intro because I don't know what happened to it. But we are taking a look at some more Marvel Legends today. I already have them out of the box, so ignore the proceeds, preceding whatever of the video. It's going to be normal. I'm going to unbox and all that stuff, but I lost the opening. So here is a hand ninja that I got from Ollie's for 10 bucks. So with all that being said, we'll take a closer look at the box, then we'll get this bad boy open, even though he's already open, lol. Taking a look at the box, you can see it is an older style series. Sorry for that ring light. I guess it's going to be there regardless. Marvel Legends series at the top. We've got the figure in the box. Marvel, the hand ninja, Hasbro. Then on this side, we have some nice artwork of the character slash figure right there. And on the back there, Marvel Legends series, The Hand Ninja. Skilled in martial arts and espionage, the ninjas of the hand are a force to be reckoned with. And then down at the bottom is the Build-A-Figure Wave Stilt Man um, from Into the Spider-Verse, which was a while ago at this point, but that's Ollie's for you. And then on this side, we get some artwork once again. So with all of that being said, Let's get this bad boy open. I just tore right into the bottom of the box, so let me just pull him out real quick. And there is our hand ninja. Here is our hand ninja out of the box, and he is definitely really cool. He's nice and posable. He's got some cool accessories, and he will be great to fight everybody. I wish there was a couple more. I could have grabbed maybe two if they had to, but he was the only one there. I looked all over Ollie's, but did find him. I was like, if I go in here and I see a ninja, I'm going to grab him, and I did. So I finally got one, and just in time for the new Electra Daredevil and the uh, Fist Ninja that's coming out and the new Daredevil from the current run. So yeah, it's definitely cool to get my hands on him because he's definitely a top-tier Marvel legend, in my opinion, and many other people's opinions. But he's got some cool details. He's got some silver paint on his buckles. He's got those darker red bracers. He's got darker red boots with the, t uh, the toes, the two toes separation. He's got a, a couple accessories, not too many. He's got some hands and some weapons, but definitely a cool figure. It would have been cool if he came with another head with normal eyes, but it is what it is. Checking out the height of our Marvel Legends hand ninja, he stands at about six and a half inches to the top of his hood, so no problems there. Going over his accessories, he only comes with a few, but we have a sword, uh, which the paint started to come off of, so I had to repaint it because the sheath is like, I guess got some extra plastic in there, but it does go in there. And then he comes with two sides, I guess is what they are, two little hand sides, and uh, then two alternate hands for doing ninja poses and stuff and grabbing people, so. Um, oh, and he also comes with the stilt man bath pieces. Don't want to forget those. The extended pieces, which was a smart move by Hasbro making this, um, the army builder with this bath piece because it's just smart. But yeah, that's all the accessories for our hand ninja who is out of focus. Going over the articulation, he has, um, a, does he have the double ball bag? Or, no, he has the ball and hinge. So ball and hinge at the top of his head. Shoulders come up that far. There is a butterfly joint, so that's nice. Bicep cut, double elbows. Sculpt kind of gets in the way a little bit, but not too much. We have up down pegs on the wrists. We have a cut here in the ball peg in the torso and ab crunch. So that's nice as well. Uh, legs come up that far, that far to the side, this far back. Double knees, can he kick his own butt? Not quite, unfortunately. We do have a boot cut down there, uh, rockers, forward, side to side, all that good stuff for Marvel Legends. So yeah, good articulation on this guy. He's really easy to pose and fun to pose. Here is our hand ninja with two of his most common adversaries. Daredevil, of course, who sometimes actually is in charge of the hand, and then they become the fist, etc., etc. And then uh, Spider-Man in his uh, 90s Mark I armor. Force of Lightning Collection, here he is with our white and green ranger. Uh, rest in peace, Jason David Frank on that other head sculpt. Here he is with some adventure series, Helena Shaw and our Raiders Indy, because, you know, Indiana Jones could always fight some ninjas. There's ninjas around in the 30s and 40s and 50s, etc. Here is some SH figure arts, Harley Quinn and Shin Ultraman. Here he is with our MCU Deadpool and Bro Thor. Because, like I said, he's a ninja. You can throw him basically wherever you want in your six-inch scale. Force and fellow red ninjas. Here he is with Rocky, our ninja, Ninjetti, uh, Mighty Morphin Red Ranger, and our G.I. Joe Classified series, Cobra Red Ninja. So, there you go. 
With all that being said, y'all, I will say that the Hand Ninja for $9.99 from Ollie's was totally worth it because he's totally worth it to me. Good to have an anonymous, just bad guy you can put in pictures. You can, you can fight anybody. Fight G.I. Joe, you can fight Power Rangers, you can fight whoever. You just want to throw a ninja against. So yeah, totally cool. If you like, uh, no, no, no. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button down below. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you are subscribed so you can come back every week for my content so you can see more guys like this hand ninja. And of course, you can see me. Um, yeah, and uh, of course, always comment down below. Let me know what you think of him. Let me know if you like going to Ollie's. Let me know if you like getting a good deal on a figure. Uh, let me know how your day is going. All that awesome, great stuff. I love you. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.